Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have another special player review, and today is another special video. I say about every video, but every video is special. And that's because today I'm reviewing myself. As you can tell by the board, this is the time I reviewed myself episode, featuring some stats. So the player who apparently I am, or I look like, is Iago Aspas, and I think it's because of the eyebrows. Anyway, he's got an incredible looking Team of the Season card that just came out. 90 pace, 95 shot, 89 passing, 95 dribbling, 82 physical on the face card. When you dive into the deeper stats, you can see 96 acceleration, 99 agility, 87 bounce. That's kind of low. I'd rather have it closer to like 95. Uh, 98 finishing, 99 attack positioning. And then with the chemistry style I'm going to add, which is going to be uh, Architect, you get 93 strength. So the card I bought, it was 302,000 coins. The person who played with it before, 7 games, 17 goals scored, 2 assists, and they were using Hunter. Hunter definitely isn't a bad chemistry style to use, but that just kind of maxes out stats that are already almost maxed out. So I'd rather have a well-rounded player, and strength is very important for strikers in this game. Also, can we just take a second to realize that Architect... Why does Architect add 15 strength? What, since when have Architects been really strong? Anyway, I'm going to be using Aspas in a similar squad to what I used yesterday when I reviewed Boateng. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It should be on the side somewhere. Uh, the only difference is instead of the left back, I don't even remember who I used. We have Gaia, 88 pace now. Uh, this team's pretty good. I've been using it in the weekend league. We are currently 10-1. and We finally did get a loss. In the last game we played, we won, but on penalties. So we're kind of starting to hit that point in weekend league where we aren't dominating as many games. And hopefully that doesn't mean that we're going to lose some matches in this episode. All right, so we have our first match of the day. I haven't played at all, so hopefully I'm not too rusty. He's got a very good squad with a lot of team of the seasons. Uh, five star, 85 overall, 100 chem team. Falcao, Lamar, and Bernardo Silva. The Monaco front three of dreams. Cyprian and Stindian in the middle. All right, I, have a, I actually have a job interview today. I'm wondering at one point I can bring up the fact that I finish gold one monthly on a regular basis. <laughs> Look at Bruno, I'm, I'm telling you guys. If you haven't bought Bruno yet, just buy him, please. Just try him out. Look at Bruno, he's always in the perfect, no. Oh no, I, I jinxed Bruno, he gave it away. Wait, what? There's no way that's a penalty. There's, th I didn't even press a button. How are you gonna give a penalty away for that? All right, we gotta have a big tackle. Ter Stegen, he, there's no way he's going. Damn it, he actually did tip his penalty. I didn't think, he, I thought he was trying to trick me. I tricked myself. Go Ricardo Pereira. Come on, outpace Lars Stindl. Ricardo Pereira, this is why you gotta have him in the team, boys. Just look at him run. Now, can he do something? Can he get the cross in? Against Platten, hard, hard, hard. Ball for Rafinha, inside. Who is it, Adderiz? What a save by Fairman. Play it now, here's Aspas. Aspas still with it, still with Aspas. Keep going, Aspas, get to the byline. He tried to hit it, we still have it, it's Bruno. Come on, finesse that, Bruno. Yes, Bruno gets in on the right foot. What a finesse, Bruno. That's the first goal he's ever scored for me. What a goal it was. That was good work from Suarez and Aspas, and of course, the goal scorer, Bruno. What a strike on the right foot, top corner. The keeper didn't even move. All right, at the halftime break, it's a tight match. This guy's a good opponent. I've been trying to get Aspas into the game, but he hasn't really done too much. When he has been on the ball, he had, he's felt really nice. So that's a plus, I guess. We're putting the boy Dendonker on for Rafinha. Here's Suarez, play it behind. It's Aspas. Aspas, he just needs one chance. Hey, he just needs one chance, boys. Aspas, he made a really good run there and he got the pace and the finish. Come on, I Iago. Come on, myself. Is it Iago? Iago? Iago. Great ball in, Suarezito. I don't know what his right back is doing right there. Completely out of line. I don't know why he would be there, but okay. Go, Asensio plays it in behind. It's Adariz. If Adariz is gonna score, if Adariz is gonna score, he does score. If Adariz is getting out of breakaway, that means you have a huge defensive lapse. Great pass right there. He brought the center back way out of position, and that allowed for that easy goal. Adariz, he's not making any mistakes on the finish. Oh, rage quit. I just, I was, I had a toothpick. Man of the match was actually Bruno, of course. It's always gonna be Bruno. He had a goal, two assists for Suarezito, one for Asensio. Goals for Aspas and Adariz. All right, the second opponent's coming up with another incredible team. Jeez, these teams are so good. Five star, 85 overall, 100 come team. He's got Lacazette, SBC up front next to Martial. He's got center forward, Ibrahimovic, player of the month, player of the year, Conte. He's got the 90th birthday, David Luiz in center mid. Suarez, play it. Aspas, make your run. Come on, get by Kyle Walker. Does he have the pace on Kyle Walker? Does he have the strength on Kyle Walker? Still Aspas. He's got the dribbles. Oh my gosh, his dribbling is crazy. Look at Aspas in dribbling. Keep going, back for... Oh no, I messed it up, but that was great dribbling by Aspas. 
play it back for Aspas. Go. Iago. Still with it. Look at the dribbles. Finish. Oh, Tom Heaton got a save. Down for Adaris. Plays it for Rafinha. Rafinha cuts inside. Still Rafinha. Keep going, Rafinha. Centers it. It's Bruno. Oh, poor shot on the left foot. That's his preferred foot. One, two. Suarez. Plays it through. Aspas for Suarez. Suarez is going to get there. Luis Suarez. Double tap. Oh, Tom Heaton. Another good save. It's Rafinha. Adaris. Get there. It falls to Asensio. On the left foot, Asensio. A little bit lucky. But Suarez is probably the main factor as to how we're playing so well. He's just standing in the middle. He's always in good position. And his passing is maybe the best attribute he has. All right, so at the break, we're playing pretty well. I'm actually controlling this game quite well, considering how, I mean, how overpowered his team is. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Rafinha's going to come off. Then Donker's going to come on. And I'm actually going to bring uh, Dybala on early for Adaris. Gaia, then Dunker, plays it. Dabala, come on, get there. Dabala's gonna get onto it. What? Play it in behind. It's Dabala, who's onside? Come on, Paolo. Come on, Paolo. Get it onto your favorite left foot. Tom Heaton's a little mug. Back heel. It's Bruno. Left foot, Bruno! He Okay, he's a big mug. Tom Heaton's a big mug. Oh, no! Slatan, how did he even do that? He wasn't even facing the direction when he shot it. Headers out. Headers out. No, oh, boys. It's Marquinhos. Down 2 1. It's just nonsense. Come on. I don't know how to defend corners. Like, what? I just do the same thing every single time. Play it down. Make the run. It's Aspas. Go. Come on. Get away from Smaldini. Are you the Smalling killer? Are you the chosen one? You're, you just got absolutely mugged off by Smalling. Come on, Dabala. Finesse. What? What is life when Dabala's hitting it with his right foot? Oh, what a little mug. What a little mug! Going into the corner. Uh, wow. So, I lost. 2-1. That, that guy was a good player, but I don't think he really deserved the win. Alright, this next opponent is coming up with another team that's it's good, but at least this one is kind of manageable to play against. 5-star 84 overall Hendrickham team. He's got a lot of touch from the Eredivisie. He's got that uh, purple Hazard card, Team of the Season Conte. All right, Harambe FC. Come on, boys. That that meme was dead about 10 months ago, but we got to kill it again. All right, see, this is the danger area. I just had a very frustrating loss. I got to not try to play too out of control, which is very difficult when you're frustrated. Oh, no, it's a great ball for Jorgensen. Ah, oh, damn. That was my fault. Down 1-0, really good play by him. I took my, I took Bruno and I actually tackled my, I screened my own defender, so. Just pretend that I'm winning. If I pretend I'm winning, then I might actually play better. That seems really strange, but it, it's kind of true. Gaia, in for Aspas. Aspas gets by one. Aspas centers it. It's Suarez. Suarez gets by his man. That's, what? No. No. Butlin did not just make that save. Come on, game. Oh no, it just cut me open. How? I don't know. I'm trying not to get tilted. I don't even feel like I'm playing that much differently. We're just not in the positions. It's the players that I can't control. They're not in the positions. Oh, come on. No, this, it's not. I can't be controlling everyone this poorly. It has to be the game. There's no way all my players suddenly lose all their powers. All right, we're at the break. I don't know how to explain this, but we just... Suddenly my players don't do anything that they were doing normally. And it I, it must be the tilt. I don't know why, but I'm trying not to get tilted at all. But they're just playing like crap. All right, the second half, I'm going to pretend I'm winning 2-0. And that everything is so easy. Oh my gosh. I'm getting tackled on everything. No. No, oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, um, what... He just uh, I I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Every player is a step behind. They're doing what I do. They're doing the what I tell them to do half a second after I do it. Go through the ball first time. I'm just not I'm not supposed to score, am I? I don't know what what's going on. Why where I don't have a team. It's a four on one. What is I'm not even attacking, I'm unbalanced. 
And I got hit on four on one off a corner. Was it even a corner? I don't know. Play it through for Aspas. Come on, Aspas, score. I, I really cannot just, I can't do anything. Aspas is 99 finishing and he can't finish pass bottom. Oh, what? What is that? What was that from Dybala? That explains. It's like my reactions went down by 50 points or whatever. Dybala literally just got hit in the face. That game, that just sums up how weekend league plays for me. I have one day, like yesterday, I went 10-1. and one. Absolutely smashed it. Then today, 1-2. and two. Are these guys that much better than what I played yesterday? No. They have really good teams, they're really good players, but... Why am I losing 4-0 and just not being able to do anything? I can't complete a pass. So this was a player review after all, and uh, how did Iago Aspas, how did I perform? I was okay, not really too good, not 300k worth. Three games played, one goal, no assists. He seems like he has the stats, he just, even with the 93 strength with the Architect, he wasn't holding off anyone. I think the big thing why I wouldn't use him is he doesn't have 4-star skills. Definitely not a small and killer. His finishing is for the most part good, uh, but and his dribbling is actually really good with the L2-R2, you saw it a couple times, but for some reason he's just not gonna, he's not pacey enough to do anything. He's just like good at everything, but not excellent at one area, so he's not that great for me. If you could somehow get him for less than 150k, I would say use him, but uh, I mean when you have Boateng, who I just used yesterday, and he scored like six goals as compared to one goal, uh, I would say just go for Boateng, he's like 70k right now. So that's gonna do it for this episode, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, comment, share with your friends. Hope to see you boys next time, and as always, don't forget to spare your pets.